I guess first and foremost, much British, we focus on small CC and we focus on being accessible. We want them to inspire people to ride, uh, give them that whole custom vibe of the ease of uh, a modern bike. We're based in Birmingham. Birmingham's where it all started. It's where kind of motorcycling was born and all those great British brands were generally built and created within a kind of 15 mile radius of where we are now. I was a customer of Benny's. Uh, he was building me custom bikes. Benny had a long history of building all sorts of weird and wonderful and fantastic machines. And one day Benny came up with this idea to build a small CC custom that was kind of a little bit more accessible than some of the quite rarefied stuff he was building. So he came up with this idea of finding this small CC donor bike and he started stripping them, building up these, what, what became the first mutts. And so from there, we started developing it. And, you know, initially Benny was still with his team hand building every single one and gradually built it up and built it up until we really realized there was something behind what he was doing. When I came up with the initial mud concept, I built a, a few a few bikes and Will just popped in one day uh, just on a general visit here and he saw it and he really liked the idea. But the first space was in was in my old workshop, which was which was a beautiful place. It was an old 17th century mill out in the sticks and it was fantastic uh, to look at. Um, but it didn't have um, uh, it didn't have running water, it didn't have electric, there had big holes in the floor and it was a, it was a, a, a beautiful place. And from there, we sort of literally found a unit from a friend of ours around the corner from where the store was in Digbeth and moved up from the countryside to that one unit. But, you know, we moved in, classic small business. So, you know, we developed the first big store there and the first event space where we held all, all our original parties and quickly grew out of that. Um, it took us a long time to find anywhere new. And then we came across what we're in now where we've put in workshops to build the bikes, R&D to develop and create the new, you know, new models and new parts, creative spaces from design to photography, and of course, uh, a, a great, you know, new showroom, huge showroom space, coffee shop, ride into the destination for people to come hang out, for us to throw parties and do everything that is bought. Really, I think we just do totally our own thing. It's, it's, it's sort of a natural thing. It's a, it's, the, the mutts have come from my background in sort of custom bikes and vintage bikes. I'm a welder, you know, that's, that, that's what I do. So I'm, I'm on the bike side of it. Um, I, I'd like to think it was because they're cool bikes, they're a bit different. There's, there was a, a gap there of there being no really cool 125s and 250ccs. For me personally, I've always ridden motorcycles. I just, I just like riding motorcycles. I, I can't really explain why. I, mean, I could say all the, the freedom in the wind and all that nonsense and, and all that kind of stuff, but I just, I just like riding motorbikes. I just like the way they feel. It's all got a real um, interest in sort of vehicle design, generally going back to the sort of 1920s, um, but the, the 60s and 70s to me, were certain manufacturers were really sort of getting their own style together. And it was that kind of stuff that it really inspires the, the mutt look. So to me, mainly the Mutt is just a, a, a proper motorcycle. It's got a, you know, a, a spoke wheel each end, generally twin shocks. It's got a nice shaped petrol tank, and it, it looks like a, a, that sort of classic design of motorcycle. I think it was Edward Turner quoted, if anything, if anything fell off it would stop, you know, it, it's just bare bones of a, of, a, uh, of a motorcycle and how a motorcycle should look. We don't believe anybody puts the level of detail into, you know, a small CC affordable bike at this level than we do. And Benny's eye for detail and design just creates these machines that, you know, they do not look like small CC bikes. They do not feel and sound like small CC bikes. They're the whole thing, they're the dream. We're amazed that the, the uptake that we've had, how many people have sort of gotten what we're into and appreciate the, the level of detail and work we put into it. It's amazing really that all over the world people have picked up on this little thing that we do and create for ourselves. I think we create bikes and we create products, all of everything within the Mutt brand. We create stuff for ourselves that we'd like, that the people around us like. We're not really concerned with what the industry do, what trends are and, and promoting ourselves on a kind of technical level. It's all about really the enjoyment, the feel and the love of riding. That's what connects with other people. Our kind of personal approach to how we present the product and the brand, you know, got recognized quite quickly by firstly a new age of dealers who were kind of a little bit more progressive and saw the space in the market that wasn't being covered by anybody else and initially in the UK we sold directly and amazingly really it grew quite quickly with the dealer network and almost immediately we started getting 
inquiries internationally and found some amazing partners and customers to work with internationally who recognised the brand, got the message, got what we were trying to do and replicated it very well in their own markets for their own people. And it's been amazing, really. We've moved into new international markets quite quickly. Uh, we started off, I think Australia was probably the first. We then went into Belgium, then have moved quite quickly across France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, Germany. Uh, with some new markets coming on this year. Japan has been a really great market for us. Amazing, really, that we could, we could you know, establish ourselves there and develop such a, a loyal network of dealers and customers. After opening in Singapore, we're developing across Southeast Asia. I personally have a design background, creating product, creating brands, and natural extension, really, that, you know, the thing that I loved in my hobby was like, well, let's do that. Let's create bikes that we love. You know, both of us really come from artistic backgrounds and that's the difference in the product that we make. We've got um, all, all the guys in the workshop, we've got a really good team in the workshop now. And, uh, they're the ones that put the bikes together before they go out to our dealer network uh, or to our direct customers. But now we're developing this bigger team around us so we can, you know, everything goes to CAD and everything's drawn up on properly on the computer and we have stuff 3D printed, you know, new parts rather than me making every single bit by hand. So that sort of a whole development team really now is sort of really coming together. Really it starts with Benny and he's he's old school, you know, it's an angle grinder and a and welding and fabrication, you know, that, that guy can fabricate stuff that no one else can. From a team of really two stroke three of us. At the beginning, the team's grown. We do do everything pretty much in-house, so we have all the disciplines covered, everything from finance and accounting to logistics, to the technical side of building bikes, to the technical side of designing bikes, to designing apparel, designing the brand, building websites. And we're quite lucky to have grown a team like we have with the, the energy and the drive that's that's there within the business. But yeah, it's absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, I, I sort of, you know, I never, I never, envisaged it to be this big and what I love about the Mutt is I can be somewhere and I can see people buzzing around on them and doing their own thing you know and it's and I don't know who these guys are or who these girls are but they're just riding their bikes and loving them and enjoying them and ripping around the city on them just going about their business throwing cool things with them and doing these little custom touches and riding the hell out of them and doing these mad journeys all over the place on them it's, it's really good but yeah it's a bit mind-blowing.